Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I'm going to show you how to automatically back up your WinLink messages. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So before we get to the tutorial today, I want to give you a little background and why I decided to write this script to begin with. If you're not interested in the background, I'll leave a link, uh, or not a link, but a, uh, I'll, I'll leave it right here on the screen, the timestamp, so you can go ahead and jump forward to the tutorial itself. But back during the outage that we experienced in December, uh, while I was relying heavily on WinLink for my communications, it occurred to me that I didn't have a good backup strategy for incoming messages. And this could be problematic. Now, I always keep uh, backup cards on hand for the Raspberry Pi itself. So if something happened to that particular Raspberry Pi, that wasn't going to uh, knock me out of the game. I would just uh, grab my backup card, reboot the Pi, and I would be back on the air. Uh, now, we do have the capability of backing up all of your WinLink messages using Pat Menu, but that is a manual process, meaning I have to open Pat Menu and go in and click the button, give it some information, blah, blah, blah. I was looking for something that was automated because during that event, backing up my email was just not something I was thinking about. So if the Pi crashed on me and I did go to the backup card, all of those emails that I had received uh, during that event would not be on my backup card. So I started looking for a solution to make sure that those backed up and I could do it automatically without having to think about it. That way, if there was some critical piece of information that uh, we needed to go back and look at that was contained in one of those emails, even if the Pi crashed, all I would have to do is load my backup and I would be back in business. So that's kind of the basis of why I wrote uh, this particular script. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi and I'll show you guys how to get it set up and running. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get a link so we can download the script. Uh, I'm over on the GitHub site. That's github.com forward slash km4 ACK. When you get to that page, you're going to click on the PyScripts repository. If that's not on the front page for you, you might need to click repositories first and then find the PyScripts repository. But we'll go ahead and click on that PyScripts repository. Once it loads up, we're going to scroll down the page until we find a script called Mail Backup. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that Mail Backup script. Once this page loads up, you need to click on the raw button. Uh, and this is a critical step. If you don't click on this raw button, things are not going to work correctly for you. Once you do click on that raw button, you will be presented with a page like this that looks like just a plain text page. And that's exactly where you want to be. At this point, we're going to come up to the address bar. We're going to highlight everything there, and I'm just going to press Control c on my keyboard to copy that link. And I'll just minimize the browser and go ahead and open up a terminal window. Now, this tutorial does assume that you are running Buildapy, um, so if you are, you will have a bin directory. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the bin directory with cd space bin. Once I get into the bin directory, I'm going to use the wget command and then paste in the link that we just copied. And I'll go ahead and press return on that and it takes it just a half a second to download. Once it's downloaded, see what, let me clear that screen. Once it's downloaded, let's run chmod plus x mail hyphen backup and press return. Okay, so now that we have the script installed and we've made it executable, we can run the command with a couple of different ways. So if we just run it with dot forward slash mail hyphen backup, 
the script is going to run and it's going to try to search out uh, your backup thumb drive or backup uh, hard drive that you've got uh, connected to the Raspberry Pi. So in my case, let's go ahead and open the file browser and we'll move over to this KM4 ACK drive that I have connected. And you'll see that it's created two folders here. Uh, this is the current one, and then this is the older one. So each time this is run, it will move this file over to the old email backups folder, and then it will create a new backup directory uh, with your latest backup information. So if go ahead and double click into that. Uh, let's look in my sent folder. And you'll be able to see that we've got a backup of all of uh, the files that we have in there. Same thing uh, with the archive directory. You'll see all of the files in that directory as well. So if you just run the script by itself, it's going to try to uh, locate your removable uh, storage drive and back up the email to that. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete those two folders. Um, just so we can run this again. I'll show you another way to run that. So back in the terminal window, if you prefer to specify precisely where um, the, the files are going to be backed up to, you can do that by running uh, dot .mail uh, or dot .forward slash mail hyphen backup and then specifying the exact path uh, that you want to use. So uh, just for this example, now this wouldn't be a good place to put them, but I'm going to just put them in my downloads directory this time. You wouldn't want to do this obviously uh, in a real scenario because the downloads directory is uh, still on your uh, primary SD card, so that really wouldn't be a good spot to back those up. But if you see, we uh, just ran that and it went over to our downloads directory. And T what? Let's pull this up and we'll go ahead and move over to downloads so that we can see that those same two directories were created. Now I'm going to go ahead and run that one more time. And the only reason I want to do this is I want you to see what happens when you've when it's been run multiple times. So we've still got this directory here with a new date and timestamp on it. But now if we click the old uh, email backups directory, you'll see that it moved that first backup directory over into the old email backups directory for you automatically. So it doesn't uh, ever delete anything. It will just keep adding to that backup. Okay, so now that I've showed you how this works, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to automate this process. And finally, I'll show you how to recover uh, if you have deleted uh, or if your email has gotten deleted or maybe you've had a card corrupted or something like that and you've lost access to your email. So the first thing uh, to automate is we're going to run our cron tab. So C-R-O-N-T-A-B hyphen E or space hyphen E. We'll come into this uh, file here and we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. At the very bottom of this file, we're going to put the at symbol and reboot. And then we're going to give it the path to our file. So forward slash home, forward slash pi, forward slash bin, and then mail hyphen backup. And that's all you need. Now, every time the system reboots, it is going to make a backup copy uh, of your emails that will just be an automated thing for you. I'm going to press Control S to save that file and Control X to exit out of it. Now let's go ahead and once again manually run this uh, mail backup command and we'll just let it go ahead and put that out on our removable uh, storage device so you can see that I've got my backup files here. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go and manually delete all of my email. Uh, now I'm running patmenu 2.3.0. This is still in development, but it does have a cool new feature to it. If you want more information on how to install this latest version, I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. I'm just going to go to manage uh, the inbox and I want to delete. Uh, well, first I'm going to archive all of my email 
and then I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. So first I'll delete my archive and then I'll delete all of my sent mail. Uh, so now if I open up, tell you what I should be, let's minimize this for now, get it back to the main menu. If we open up my packed mailbox, uh, in my inbox you can see it is completely empty, my outbox is empty, the sent uh, folder is empty, and my archives are all empty. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to Pat Menu and show you how to restore all of the messages uh, that I just deleted. So we'll open up Pat Menu and we're going to come in to manage uh, the inbox. And I'm going to say restore email. When I click on that, it's going to ask me where the directory is that I want to restore from. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this here, and I'm going to say Other instead of clicking on one of the defaults. I will go ahead and click on that KM4 ACK drive uh, that I have. And then right here is that folder that we just created or that the script just created. So I'm just going to click on it and click Open. Now that I've got uh, my directory loaded up here that I want to restore from, I'm just going to choose Restore Emails and it'll come back and tell me that the restore has been complete. At this point now, let's go ahead and open up the PAT menu, or the PAT mailbox again rather, and you'll see all of my archives are there, and if I click on the sent folder, all of my uh, sent messages have been restored as well. Now I didn't have anything in the outbox or the inbox, but it did restore what I had. So there you go, guys. That's how you can automatically back up your WinLink messages. And this would happen every single time you booted up the Raspberry Pi. So you don't even have to think about, uh, is this being done? It just happens automatically for you in the background. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off if you found this video helpful. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.